Hey everyone, so in this episode we're going to create an admin panel uh, for which we're going to be managing all the posts. So go ahead and uh, let's go ahead into our controllers and add a panel controller. Controller.cs inherit from controller and let's just return a I can spell. Uh, index return view. All right. So in our views, go ahead and create a new folder called panel slash index.cshtml. So for a controller, we need a folder, etc. You know the drill. We've already done this a couple of times. So, and in here, let's just make a header that this is an admin panel. Let's close this. All right. So, let's quickly run this and see what happens. Also, while it's loading, let's go into our layout, copy this link, and make it so we can reach the panel. Uh, so controller is panel and action is index. So let's say admin panel. Let's refresh real quick. So admin panel here, right? So we can reach the panel, but at this point, anybody can reach this panel. So what we want to do is in our panel controller, we want to add an authorize attribute, right? So this attribute is similar to how any attributes like HTTP get. It just sort of provides a layer of functionality. So before this controller is reached, it will run the code that this attribute provides. If we put it above this index here, it's gonna create the controller first, and then it's gonna run the attribute, and then it's gonna execute the action. But since it's the control panel, we wanna authorize first before we even reach the control panel so let's do that refresh okay so let's click the admin panel and you're gonna see this error page so the default identity ui blah 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 blah. right a lot of complicated stuff if you don't know what's going on so to put it simply if we go into our startup.cs file later on when you're going to be more familiar with what the default template is and if you want to opt into it this already does it for you and this is what the default identity provides so for this tutorial we're building everything from ground up and we want to opt out from um, from the default template since there is quite a lot of uh, code and you can override those pages, etc. We just want our, we want the simplest code. So change this to instead of add default identity, just add identity, comment, add roles out. So to, to quickly comment stuff out, you can press control K, control C. And if you want to uncomment, control K, control U. So control K, control C, copy identity role and put it here. So if you, Cover this, you can see that if you cover at identity, you can see that it accepts a type of user and a type of role. So that's how you know where to put it. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead. You can either copy this address or in your star bar, you have this IS, IS Express here, and you can quickly open another page. So let's keep this error here and let's see how this error changes now. So admin panel, okay. So now it goes to this page and I can't find it. So this page is the default page for um, the login screen. So if, if our controller is called account controller, since we have the login page, it will actually display the login page, but we have an auth controller. And this is the default, um, D d default redirect a URL, a URL for the built-in template since there are a lot of pages that it provides and we're not going to get into that now. So to override the re redirect URL, you want to go into services.k 
configure application cookie since cookies is how uh, your application authenticates you plus sessions but don't worry about this just yet you don't need to know this yet so in here for options login path this is what we want to specify and since our route is slash auth login so controller action uh, let's put the sec semicolon in the correct place and let's go ahead and again open another tab and see what happens so re recompiling the code let's go to our admin panel and voila we are on our login page so let's log in cool so first thing let's quickly clean up our auth controller so instead of redirecting to the index of the home page let's redirect to the index of the panel page okay and logo will keep the same so if we refresh Logout, let's sign in, admin, password, sign in. Okay, so now it redirects us to the admin panel after we log in. Now, at this point, any signed up user can have access to the panel control panel. So what I mean by that is when we created the admin role, we're not leveraging the use of that yet. So to do that, we want to make it accept a roles of admin so let's refresh this and not much will change right we're st we still have access but now if the user is in role of admin he will be allowed to go and since our admin has the role admin it will be so he will be able to access that so quickly you can change this to like manager let's refresh this and we should get a error that or yeah redirect to the default page that account access denied we don't have this page so and we shouldn't have this so since you should not be able to log in unless you're the admin we only want one login so let's change let's change it back, back to admin okay so admin panel works great okay so let's quickly just drag all of our functionality from here so all this stuff just copy it for now go into let's close all of this panel controller and let's replace it here make a constructor and same as the in the home controller let's, let's just import our repository i repository repo repo equals repo okay cool uh import post import this task async okay and let's copy this index and let's delete this index and put it in here and inside our home index not not the panel index inside our home index we want to remove the edit and we want to we want to remove the edit and the remove okay so we want to keep being able to view the posts but we don't want to be able to remove the post so then in our home controller let's go ahead and delete the remove functionality edit functionality and post functionality so we're taking away all of this from general users actually wait we accidentally delete a post so keep the post we want to be able to view the post so one thing here we want to move the edit to the panel and in our panel we also want to delete the post we don't want to just view the post since you can do that on the main page we want to only be able to edit here so edit remove great uh, another thing in our panel index, we wanna wanna remove this link to just view the post, right? So we only wanna be able to edit or remove it. 
and let's change this to admin panel. Okay, let's see if we forgot anything. Close these two tabs, we don't need it. Okay, so admin panel, let's quickly sign in, password. Okay, so we have the names, home edit, right? Uh, so it's not there. Quickly change these to panel. Right, so again, oh, right, refresh the page. Okay, so now we can see the route is in our panel. And let's quickly copy this one. And if we open incognito, incognito and go to this route, you see we get redirected back to the user page since our authorized attribute protects the whole controller. Any action we try to access here is protected by the authorized user. That is only in role of admin. Okay, so, okay, that works. Okay, that removes. Let's go to our home page and let's see if we can see test. All right, cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. If you enjoy it, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll answer all of them. Answer all of them. And as always, see you in the next episode.